right, starting another project. <laughs> they never end. Um, you remember the storms we had about a month and a half ago or so that we blew down uh, three trees literally right here around the house. And then there's one more that's way out in the woods out back. Well, I spent yesterday and I cut up the three trees that... Um, that fell along this along our property right here. I've got them in the bed of my truck. Here you go. So that's what I've got. Um, of course, some you can see the small stuff. I did get the the, the, the smallest of the limbs, the rest of the twigs. But I am going to go ahead and save those twigs and everything else for my other hygge culture bed. I've got to build for my sugar snap peas. But I did bring out my log splitter. Yep, so we're going to go ahead and start splitting these logs. You can see how high up I've gone with my wood. Um, I have had a problem before of that wood falling over the other way. So I will be securing that. But now we're going to split this wood and we'll stack it up right here on this side. All right, here's the first three trees I had to split and cut up. And some's laying over there. Next, I'm heading out back. And I'll start filling the ranger up with that big tree. So that'd be the four trees that fell over in the storm. All right. We're done for now. Pigs are screaming for food. All right, guys. You can see I already got a big load. That's a pretty big tree. It's all the way back here. It's that big one I told you about. It's back there. I'll show you to in a minute. Got to turn the camera on. But it's a big one. Now we got to drive her on home. Bucket load at a time. I'm guessing it's 12, 14 inches across the base. It broke off about four foot, five foot up in the air. I got the ranger sitting there. I'm gonna take all the lumber, all the wood I'm getting, I dump it in the back of the truck. I'm gonna take the truck, drive it all the way out back to where my log splitter is. And it's one thing of me having to bend over to pick up these logs to put them on a log splitter. So I do my log splitting horizontally. So I just pick this up, set it on the splitter, and it saves your back. Let me go ahead and dump this in the back of the truck. See, that's all heavy wood. All right, let's go cut some more up. Bring it on up. Okay, well, this is day three. Of getting these trees as you can see the last stack that was here I uh, stacked up here this is the memory always said it was a real large tree all the way out back in the back part of my property this is it the base measured 16 inches this is the tree I didn't bring my t-post driver because I was gonna put a t-post in right here in the center so it doesn't do that you know, pull out. But this is what I did. <laughs> See if you guys know what these are. Without looking at that code. Yeah, I got four of them. See if you guys can figure it out. Put it in the comments. But I'm going to drive a T-post right here. To stop it from coming out, coming out anymore. So none of this will fall backwards. So, um, but here's some more news. I am out there. Finishing up with this last tree. I have got a lot more trees to cut, cut, cut up to get up here. You know, that's priority because if you leave them out there, they're going to get full of rot and insects. 
I mean, really, the wood's not that bad. And uh, I was telling my wife that night that we had that bad storm. It had to be a, like a, a mini, mini tornado or something that snapped them. These trees were snapped off. Uh, that one, I just this one here, was snapped off maybe four foot or five foot in the air. And if you looked at the end in the picture, it looked like it was twisted a little bit. So when you have a twisting motion, that means the air was spinning and it snaps them. All right, guys, I'm going to show you the next tree, and it's big. It goes from way, oh, man, it's from right there all the way across, all the way over here, and somewhere ends up on the inside of that big tree. This thing's huge. And it's a lot, looks like it blew over at the roots. So this was a solid tree. Yeah, from right, right there, all the way across, all the way down. I can see good wood right through there, right up over here. Kind of looking like the center of the tree maybe rotted out is what's going on. Because that's a hole it came out of. <laughs> Look how long this thing is. I bet you it compares to this one right here. Well, we ain't gonna get this done until I get break out the saw, huh? A lot of thicket. I hate that stuff. But guys, I wonder what that measures around. I don't know. I bet you that measures somewhere around 18 inches around, or across. Well, let's get cutting. There we go. Here's another truckload. Split. And ready to get stacked. I'll let this sit. Oh about a day to two days and once it really starts to dry out and then i'll start to stack it in there but main goal is it let a lot of the moisture dry off it right away here so meantime while that goes on then i go and get the back of my ranger full of, of another tree and just start the cycle here's another tree that went down and don't know but back that way, you can't see. It's a real big tree right back in that area. And, uh, yeah, there's another big one over there that's all apart. Now, I don't think the whole tree fell. I think a couple of huge limbs fell off. But some of the limbs kind of resemble that size down that area. So, yeah, I've got a lot more to do. All right, well, can't get nothing done sitting here. All right, if you remember a few minutes ago, I was showing you where that other tree was. It was laying down across. That's over there. But look at this tree. Look how big this oak is. There, that's got to be 24 inches around um, across. Look at all the stuff that was up there stripped clean is on the ground. I know we had hit with a small tornado that had skimmed all through the tops of us. Look at the way he just snaps off these branches just twists them right off wow that is a huge oak tree huge oak tree this would be the biggest one I'm not taking the tree not this year it'll have to go it ain't going to survive but uh, it's going to have to be a couple years from now before I can get to that one same as that last one I was just on, which is right over there. Um, it could, it should go this year, but I don't have a spot for it. I don't have time to make another spot. So we're going to go ahead and let those stand, and we're going to take what we can on these. All right, guys. 
tomorrow's another day. I got my cattle panel up. I put my T-post in. It's a seven foot. It goes in. It comes up under the back side of that two by four. So it, if anything falls against it, it'll stay good. Let's look at the front. We're done. See here, chainsaw running. Not yet. It was. It's my neighbor. He now has my log splitter. And he's attacking his yard. <laughs> there you go. Nothing like a whole stack of wood. It's uh, 10 foot long, 8 foot depth, just over 6 foot high. So whatever that works out to how much firewood is sitting there, plus the other, row, the other stack I've got by my house. So I have plenty. I'll use that stack at my house. And then probably that last row... Over there, I'll probably use uh, a third of that. So we got plenty of wood. I I, I feel that I ha have right here three years, two and a half years of firewood. Plus, I never did get to these. They're dead. They're dried. So I'm not too worried about it. I've got firewood. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope I didn't bore you about cutting trees down. <laughs> but, hey, I'm done with this. I got a lot more to do. And uh, you all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting me. Thanks for commenting. And if you would, give me a thumbs up. Y'all take it easy.